What the heck, I ran out of vegetable oil. How am I gonna saute anything? Duh, I can just make some clarified butter. This is the homemade butter I whipped up a few days ago. I'm just gonna get half of this into this small pot and get it on the heat. Now I just wanna heat this on high until it's fully melted. All right, now that the butter is fully melted and it's starting to bubble, I'm just gonna turn the heat down a bit. And as it keeps bubbling, it's going to evaporate all of the water that's in that butter so that we're just left with the pure clarified butter. As I'm evaporating that water, it's starting to look more and more clear. We want to essentially slowly heat this butter until all of the water evaporates from it. Now for pure clarified butter, you don't want that milk solids to brown. That will take away from the clarified butter purity. But ghee, which is used in a lot of Indian cuisine, you actually do brown the milk solids in the butter to give it a more nutty taste. Once it starts foaming like this and not bubbling so much, Definitely want to turn the heat down because almost all of that water has now evaporated and we don't want to heat it so much that it burns those milk solids. At this point we see this foam building on top. It's okay to start skimming this very carefully just to get that top layer of scum out of there. These bubbles are milk solids and other impurities that are in this butter. All right, now that most of the impurities have been removed and all of the water has been evaporated, we're going to want to run this through a cheesecloth to get the remainder of the milk solids out of the clarified butter and will just be left with the pure clarified butter. Now this butter has browned some of the milk solids a bit, so that is going to impart a slight nutty flavor, which is very tasty. So this is more of a ghee at this point than a clarified butter. And here now I have about three layers of cheesecloth that should be able to filter out any of those milk solids if they get through here. And now we just have to pour in the clarified butter. Look at that, pure nutty clarified butter. All right, this clarified butter looks and smells amazing. Clarified butter is great for a lot of things. You can use it to saute and sear things. It has a super high smoke point, up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes 485 Fahrenheit. That's as high as avocado oil, so it's great to saute and sear things. You can also use it. It's perfect for dipping seafood in, crab legs, lobster. Um, it smells and tastes delicious. You can definitely put it on popcorn. This is amazing if you buy clarified butter or ghee from the store. That's great too. If you make it from home, I think that makes it even more special.